<laughs> All right! Undead Live! Hello, humans! It's the Berserker Blothar! Here with this dude. Oh, gross. <laughs> All right. What the hell do you people want? We got a lot in store for you today. A whole lot in store. All right. So anyway, big, big show. What are your questions? What do you want to know? How are you doing tonight? Come on. Let us know what's up. Meat sandwich. What the hell is that? Somebody's eating a pie, but they can't tell them it's full of cherries or blood or the organs of the countless innocent people that were slaughtered. That's Dylan G. Yes. What do you want, Dylan, with yeah. that? What was that? That's like a statement more than a, it's not a question, question, really. Question is it? I don't know. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, oh that, there's Hello, the familiar Morgan. faces. Hello, Maggot. How you doing? Great. Beowulf. How you doing, Beowulf? Beowulf. Yes. Oh. Uh, Oh, there's Amy. Hello. Hi. How you doing? All right. Hello, yes. Cliff. Boy, this is real. This is really, really exciting. Uh, so, Blothar, would you ever consider yourself a BBW? <laughs> a, a BBW? Like yeah. a, a big, a big, beautiful wombat? Yes, beautiful wombat. Yes, that's me. Sexy, sexy wombat. Yes. <laughs> I am. I'm more, more like a BHM. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Blothar is well-loved in the bear community, and that's fine with me. I'm happy to be a big, fat, gay icon. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you're, you're not late, Michael. You're here. You're here, Michael. Why, why are you late? I don't understand. It's 2 a.m. and my flatmates <laughs> are partying. <laughs> How do I sleep? Uh, I don't sleep. Just walk in there with no pants on. They'll... They'll get, the, they'll get the picture. Sound advice. <laughs> How do I enjoy long walks on the beach? What do you mean? What does that mean? Do I not have legs? Do I have feet? Yes, they're big, fat, ugly fucking legs and feet, but that's how I get around. I just walk in the sand. How <laughs> dare you, sir? Yeah. Uh, I feel weird coming here after being basic today. What does that mean? Basic. You kids with your... Ridiculous language. <laughs> oh, she said I had to wear a bra. That's an outrage. <laughs> That's an outrage, Emma. What? Is, how dare you make fun of Lord Blothar? Yeah, look, I was just noticing today that I have these weird little puffy things on my nipple, <laughs> like sort of extra, extra nipple, nipple bit. Yes, <clears throat> it's a very nice detail. Oh. How did we enjoy the virtual VIP experience with the Bohabs? That's from Zombie Furred. It was fun. Yeah, it was great, of course. It was, it was a good time, you know. We had people come on. I, I don't know why the hell they would spend. I was told that it was $500,000 each. I think so. For, for 90 seconds getting jerked off by Guar. <laughs> but, Barely uh, jerked off. Yeah. <laughs> Just the head, like just wave at it. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. If they want to pay for that, then that's that's fine. Oh, Johnny, you're human filth. That's it. That's it. You got what you wanted. Yeah, there you go. Wins necro bestial butt set day. That's pretty much every day. That is every day, isn't it? It's Toad, right? Toad asked that? Toad eye. Yeah. My preferred weapon for battle. It's a shield. I like a shield. You know what I hate? I hate all of the, like, Dungeons and Dragon dipshits who get upset because Blothar carries a shield, and it's, it's a defensive item. You know what? <laughs> who gives a fuck? I will shove that shield right up your fucking ass. Right. And we'll see how defensive it is. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, good answer. Good answer. Oh. She's, she's jealous. My huge jugs. <laughs> I don't. These aren't really huge. I mean, come on. This is a, like D. No. Know, well, now down here, that's where you got the juice. Oh, you can barely see them. Look at those little heads peeking up. Yeah, yeah. I've got six titties. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, right. cheese drummer Gorgor is alive. He's well. He's hanging out. We feed him daily. Yes. Yes, he is alive. He lives under the stairs, just like Spot in, uh, you know, the monsters. Yes. Yes. 
All right. Paint touching shield. Yeah, monster. Huh. Elijah, okay. defense for the win. That is correct. Yeah. That's yes. Right. Don't ever tell me that a shield's not a weapon. Elijah Arwood, hell yeah. That's right. I'd love to eat off of that shield, says Grandpa Nurgle. <laughs> oh, and, Nurgle. Yeah, like, like, like the Mongolians did. You just flip it over and then, and then you eat off of it. It's a, a little, plate. A little walk there. Yeah, it's a like. What happened to the cuttlefish? Who has it? That's an interesting question. He still scuttles about. I've yeah. seen him. I've seen him running around in the slave pit. Yeah, I mean, we had a. He, he did visit us from another dimension. Yeah, he's scuttling about here and there. Yeah, he, he's hanging around. Oh, somebody's got their caps lock stuck on there. <laughs> Why are you yelling, amateur collector of souls? It looked like you've been staring at the pizza in the oven for too long. That is really stupid. I hope, <laughs> I hope for your sake that you're 11 years old. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Mother, my mom says hello. All right, Beowulf, tell your mother I said hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Come on up here and get smacked. <laughs> I'm watching with my dead Abuelita. Well, you know, I don't know. Do slaves have to pick up my or, or, Was that my poop? I, yes. I didn't even see who answered that. Yes. Yes, Daily, they do, yes. hourly, yes, they do it sometimes different. minutely, right. yes, <laughs> secondly, they secondly, have, they just, <laughs> just uh, follow around. Yeah, and I like for them to write on the wall with it. <laughs> just, <laughs> they keep a record of what I say on the wall. And actually, right now, it's dictation. Yes, I'm reading a teleprompter that's written in shit <laughs> on the wall by a slave. Uh, yes, yeah. master, I've caught yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, would you eat sleazy Hillary Clinton? Oh, I would devour Hillary Clinton. Let me tell you something. Pretty sure we've already smacked her around a few times. Will we ever remix any other albums? Uh, well, you know, we, did, we didn't really just remix the Scum Dogs box set. It's a, uh, well, it, it is a remix, but it's also in some ways re-edited uh, and remastered. And the question to that is, uh, probably not. I don't know. I mean, you know, they, that was the one that really stood out that we wanted to sort of go back to again. I, I don't think we could get away with doing it to Hello. There's not enough, good, you know, sounds on everything to begin with. Scumdog was as hard as it was. So, probably not. You know, we're, we're pretty happy with the way the other ones came out. Look, it's somebody put a thumbs down. We just did thumbs down. <laughs> Everybody give we a thumbs down. We don't care about your thumbs down. Yeah, let me see. Thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> you suck, Black Tide. <laughs> you terrible, I like you. There was um, only a thumbs down before we even got here, you assholes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what does dark, dark Bastard have to say right there? Blothar, I am currently writing my dissertation. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why don't you kill yourself? <laughs> Publish it in the JNOC, the journal of no one fucking cares. <laughs> I hear you have a slave that went through this madness. It's true. It's true. He, he was, boy, was he difficult to deal with. Did you happen to overhear any of his insights or tips on the process? Uh, I just heard his general whining, constant whinging and complaining about how miserable he was because his life was nothing but staring at a computer screen and, and reading about things that no one gives a shit about except for him and his stupid fucking teachers. So, no, I don't know what the hell the good it is. I mean, PhD, what, is it? what does it stand for anyway? Pooped her drawers. <laughs> Pooped her drawers. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, man. Perfectly huge disappointment. Well, what do you want? Do a quick commercial here? Does it feel like a commercial? Oh, look, look, well, wait a minute. Yes, I oh, do. Okay. But oh. I want to answer this question okay. from little Michael Dirks. Oh, what does Michael Dirks have to say? He says, did you see the new verse for Slaughterama that a Bohab posted on Gwar's Facebook page? Any thoughts? First of all, that Bohab is a good-looking dude. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I, look, I look at the picture of him. He looks great. He looks like he knows what he's talking about. And, you know, to be honest with you, I mean, of course we're going to have to do an updated version of Slaughterama at some point. That just makes sense. It'd be hilarious. And of course, I mean, I would imagine that we'd be throttling the left and the right. And then we'd be throttling ourselves with our left and right hands. I like it. 
No, I mean, I mean, we always did that. Look at the original slaughter. You've got the hippie. You've got the Nazi skinhead. You've got the, you know, the, 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 the I don't know, all of them. You know, just all of them. They're all out there. And so, you know, I mean, the guy has a point. I mean, he made it in a really particularly stupid way, but I suppose he doesn't get paid to do this for a living, so I don't know. I'm glad that you people crucified him, though, because now he knows, now he, he really understands his place in the world. Good, good work, people. <laughs> that sounds like a good place for a commercial. How about we roll one? Yes, let's. Hey, Bohabs. What are you looking at? Nothing. Wait, that didn't come out right. <laughs> That's right. Well, how about this new Gloss Scum Dogs album? Box set. Huh? Not bad. How about t-shirts? We got t-shirts. Who's this character right here? Eh, never seen him before. Is he even in the van? Well, he's pretty cool. I like his look. How about the whole band on one t-shirt? That's what you want, isn't it? Right? That way you don't have to wear five shirts at once just to feel like you got the whole band, you know? It got kind of hot. Eh, five shirts at once. It's kind of hot. Who's this? Pustulus Maximus. You know him. He's the lead guitarist. Look at this stuff. That's right, we got t-shirts. Huh? Huh? Pretty nice. Squad.net for all your merchandise needs. Be there, Bohabs. Oh, that was amazing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 was, I was transfixed for a moment there. I really like the idea of wearing all five shirts. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's a good... They never have my size, you know. Circus. <laughs> what, circus what is your size? Circus ten. Circus ten. Yeah, they don't. It's, they're hard to find. Ah, oh, so uh, here, Dylan G says, "Man, I buy the box, but it's expensive." <laughs> uh, so you don't buy the fucking box. <laughs> Who gives a shit? <laughs> Bohab James, fuck you. <laughs> they will fuck you too. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's what you people want. I love Sleazy P. Martini. Sleazy song on the next album. You know what? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. As a matter of fact, why not let him just do the whole fucking record? <laughs> It'll get done quicker. An update, oh, yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you all to know this. Oh, you're complaining because you don't have your signed box set. Let me tell you something. I have been signing things until my hand has become just a, a useless... I can barely even hold my own wiener. Oh, you'll get them when you get them. Come on. <laughs> They're on the way. He's working on it. He's working on it. Why does Cliff have a check mark? I don't know. I think, doesn't that mean he's a super fan or something? Uh, I guess so. That's if he's particularly stupid. <laughs> Cliff. Chet, you're really fucking... Dumb. Oh, Cliff. Yes, yeah, Cliff. Uh, he's one of, the, one of the artists, isn't he? Cliff? Yes, yes. Yes, Cliff Roth. yes I've, seen, I've seen you work, Cliff. Don't quit your fucking day job. <laughs> oh. Please, he can sell anything. He certainly can. Scott <laughs> Bryan, John Crouch, says that Scott Bryan looks like Leon Trotsky. Yeah. I don't know about that, but he definitely looks like a homeless person. He does. Yes, he mostly he, looks like a homeless person. Yes. And anytime we go into a hotel on the road, everyone comes up to him and goes, Excuse me, sir, can we help you? Goes, Excuse me, do you have a room key? Anyway, what's, what's all this? Is you with this guy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do, do you know who this person is? Ah, uh, who is a better bass player? This is Stuart Stripke. That doesn't sound like I hope that's not your real name. <laughs> Stuart Stripke. Well, Stuart Stripke, who, uh, of course, I am a better bass player. I mean, there's no, there's no really comparison to it. I mean, Beefcake and I are essentially the same person, but then we experienced mitosis and divided into two, and I got all of the talent, and he got all of the, I don't know, crying and stuff like that. <laughs> the crying. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, look at man. I, I, I play fucking bass guitar. I sing, you know. And, and yes, I know that singing is stupid. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> I would much rather be playing the fucking bass guitar. <laughs> well, look what I have to do. Yeah, it's great. Stand up there like an asshole. Who's this? America... Needs to be more destroyed. This is Sinner 13 Halloween Fiend. That name's a little long there for you. Yeah, shrink that a yes. bit. America needs to be destroyed more than ever right now. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. We're, we're, clearly it's on its way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I mean, what else do you want? Yeah, what's today? Oct is, is today October, what, October 
What is it? Something. Something. It's yes. October something. I'm telling you, you know, just wait until November 3rd. You're done. We'll see where we're there. You're done. You've got less than a month. Yeah. So. Soak it up, America. Yeah. So Eat, eat Steel is one of my favorite. This is uh, Verisper Rulias. I hope I said that right. Actually, I don't care if I said that right or not. But Eat Steel is one of my favorites, too. Great song. You know, and you know what I like best about it? What? I like that I didn't have to play the bass guitar. That's what I like about it. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's odorous playing bass on it. It's really fun. What happened to your battle helmet? My battle... Oh, yeah, I did. You know, you're right. I don't know who asked that. Some little turd asked me <laughs> about my battle helmet. Yes, I used to have a battle helmet. And then I lost it probably about the second day that I had it. And then my slave who's some asshole over here, made me a new one and was very upset about it. As if, as, if, as if I worked for him. He was telling me that how dare my irresponsibility. And then I was like, I'm very sorry. This won't ever happen again. And before I had finished my sentence, I had lost the one he just had. <laughs> it's, it's true. That's all it's true. It's so true. Yes. So, in other words, he punished me and said, no, no more fucking battle helmet. Yeah. Plus, I'm I, making yeah, I lose these all the time too. <laughs> that's why. That's why one looks brand new and the other one looks really old. Really. <laughs> Pay careful attention. It's sort of a permanent condition for blowfall. <laughs> I lose things. It's what I do. Do you plan on touring next year? This is Nate Rosenthal. I asked Beefcake last stream, but he gave me no answer. Why do you have to work in the guilt then? Yeah, uh, yeah. He gave well, me no. It's a, kind of okay. a dick move, Nate. Yeah, all right, Nate. Well, let me say something. <laughs> I'm not going to give you an answer. <laughs> no answer. No, of course, we are thinking about touring next year, but, you know, I mean, what's going to happen with the coronavirus and the whole country on fire yeah. and, and the world just becoming a, a, a sizzling cinder in space? Uh, sure, man. I mean, you know, if they'll have us, we'll get on the on the bat-shaped helicopter and come to your town. Yeah. I have a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of fly-in shows in 2021. A lot yeah. of that kind of that kind of thing. So you can look forward to that. But, you know, that's boring of a sort. It's just not, you know, all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> he, did he, ask, he asked the question again, but this time in all caps. Yeah. Well, you are really a persistent. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Johnny Party Mix. Will Gorgo ever make a comeback? I think you didn't you already ask something about Gorgo. What is with you and fucking Gorgo? What do you love Gorgo? Yeah. You yes. want to date Gorgo? Gorgo is going to make a comeback. Of course he's going to make a comeback. As soon as we... Why do you need to make a comeback? He never went anywhere. He's yeah. always here. Yeah, right. What do you mean, comeback? Tosco says, sing Ripple by the Grateful Dead. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. Uh. I feel like I'd rather fucking eat a fucking shotgun to do that. <laughs> oh your... my god, War and Necrogoblin. Feud's amazing idea. <laughs> Already happened and it fucking sucks. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What, what's, your, what's your opinion on pocket pussies? Uh, well, first I just want to address the person who just wrote Lynchburg, Virginia as a question. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. But pocket pussies... Uh, well, you know, I mean, I can't really use them uh, because... They're not they, designed they, right. Yeah, I, I need a, I need a, a something that, that's got a little more... Uh, like four at once. Yeah. It's more like, I mean, what I've always found was better for me, pocket pussy, was just like, you know, a, an actual, like a Coke machine or something like that. <laughs> just go and stick up the side of a, of a Coke machine. Yeah. And, you know, just go to a car wash and like spray it. <laughs> uh, Sean Dominique, wild child, yeah man, Woo! wild Woo! child, you wild, shit, you wild, Sean, wow, really, amateur collector of souls, <laughs> really, <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> oh, one Lowe's update from Quarantine Guarplos Necro Goblin sucks. Sean O'Connell, who's the best eighties action star? Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. Now that is five questions yes. that we can answer. Yes. Yes. The answer to that is yes. Oh wait. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Uh, who is the better one? Oh. Is Sean Connery 
Or I don't know why he didn't put, uh, is John Cusack? Jo- John Cusack at Action Star? Yeah. Uh, Joan Cusack is. Joan, yes. Joan is. Joan Cusack. She was an Action Star. Yeah, I mean, actually, I think I like, personally, I don't think you can get any better than, than I mean, Sylvester Stallone sucks. Let's be honest. <laughs> Yo. Okay? Yo. Sebastian Sloan is stupid. Yo. He, and he's not stupid like Arnold is stupid. Yo. Which is a cool way of being stupid. He's really stupid. <laughs> That's a cool way of being stupid. Stallone, <laughs> let me put it like this. Stallone would never make Kindergarten Cop. But he made over the top. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> arm wrestling movie. Yeah. Let's talk about arm wrestling. Jake Ganny, do you like Wasp? Do I like Wasp? Why not? Yeah, man, sure. Of course. Man. Blackie Lawless is a beautiful old lady. Yeah, I mean, hot old lady. Yeah, I mean, for, for being her age. I mean, looking good for she, being her age. She looks great. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Where is, where is, when is back coming back on? Yeah, everybody loves Jizback. He's a real black They want him to come back. Do scumbugs care about American politics? I mean, not really. You know, it's just, it's just entertaining to us to watch your foibles and your fumbling around. Uh, I like this person, Ken Bennett, who points out that Ron Jeremy was the best 80s actor. I'm going to have to go ahead and... and uh, yeah, I'll agree with you. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah, throw Mama from the Train, Beowulf points out. And he's one of Miley Cyrus. Boy, Miley Cyrus is just a horrible hosebag. Have you noticed this? What's totally. Up? Jeez. Hosebag yeah. is right. Hot dog in a hallway. So, Brad, can you swing the camera over to the for a few minutes? I'm almost ready to Oh, I love that. I really love that. Come on, Brad. Come on. Come on. Come, come on. on. Look at him. He come wants on. it. Come he on. wants it. Over this way. Over, Over right. that way. Show this it way. to him. Show Just it to him. Just make sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good oh, job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matthew Bullock asks, how much does Danzig hate war? You know what? That's a good question. Danzig, Danzig probably really fucking hates war. But it's only because he really fucking hates himself. <laughs> And, and really, it's probably, he only, he, you know, I mean, I feel bad for the guy. Like, he can't get a break, you know. Every time somebody takes a picture of him, he's sweating like a pig. He's dealing with cat litter. You know, it's a hard life. I mean, I've heard that, you know, he doesn't he doesn't like people to use microwaves. So then when he goes on tour, all of his crew puts all of the silverware that they can find in aluminum foil in the microwave and then turns it on. The thing is arcing into the heart. You know, because they want to give him cancer. Because that's how much they fucking hate that fat, self-important fuck nut. By the fuck way, Dan, we want to go on tour with you. So, you know, yeah. give us a shout. Cool. We're, We're cool, cool, bro. You know, We're we, cool. We've been down for a long time. We played with Danzig back in the in the late night in, in the late 80s, in the early 90s. We played with Danzig back when he first had put together his band of big muscle-headed dudes that all looked like they were from a comic book. Uh, you know, but he still had, he had a great drummer. He had Chuck Biscuits on the drum. Fantastic, right. you know. And, and we did some shows with him, and he would come out, uh, and, and he walked up to me, and I was holding at the time the slave dick in my hands. Ooh. Yeah. And he had this wife that looked like she was, you know, biologically constructed. She had gigantic Ooh. fake tits. And she says to me, Oh, can I see that? She goes to touch it, and, and I tilted it down, and then a bunch of cum came out of it oh. and fell all over Danzig's shoes, <laughs> and he got really pissed off. Come on, sweetheart. Let's get out of here. These guys are fucking animals. <laughs> well, he did come on, on his shoes. Yeah, I guess it's true. <laughs> well, how about we roll this clip, this old, old interview? How about that? Sure. Roll it. Okay, people. Watch this crap. Old interview from England. Check it out. Everybody, do not adjust your sets. They're here. We got them. They're ours. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Gwar. Yeah. Eric, oh, Eric, <laughs> Eric Burden and Gwar. Now, now, please introduce yourselves to the British public because a lot of people, we've read about you in the papers, we've seen most of the things. What, uh, just explain. Well, my name is Odorus Urongus. I am the lead singer of Gwar, the Prime Minister of the Sinister and Counselor of Chaos. This is my friend and compatriot, who will introduce himself for you, starting now. Yes, thank you, I am Beefcake the Mighty, and the purpose of Gwar is, of course, as you can tell from our accoutrement, to destroy. 
destruction. Is that what it's all about? Because well, I was watching the clip this afternoon. I've seen uh, a few things that you've done, and I I thought basically that it was a very a sensitive message and something you guys are obviously sharing individuals. Beefcake speaks rashly. You spoke rashly. Rashly. I'm but sorry. still, yet. Rash. Martin. No, what's your name again? Uh, Mud. Bill. Mud. Jonathan. You can Jonathan. Call me Jonathan. Jonathan. We'll call you Jonathan. Okay. What was the question yeah. again? The I question forgot. was, uh, d what is the message that Gore brings to uh, the people of Britain? Well, to tell you the truth, Barty, that I am incredibly drunk right now, and I really don't know what the hell it's all about. <laughs> oh, join the club. But, no, yes. Well, oh. let, me, let me just say, Mr. Sajak. <laughs> Mr. Hey, Sajak. Uh, the purpose of Gore is, of course... We, we are artful, artful geniuses, and we only want to share our brilliance with the British public. Of course, your government, and uh, in, in, in particular, your National Guard has other ideas, but we shall crush them as we have done so many times before. They're war. Well, yes. Mm, well, thank you very much. And let me say, Abraham Lincoln, your show is very tremendous. I'm loving it extremely much, and... Uh, so is my cuttlefish of Cthulhu. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We, we enjoy it, yes. It's an exclusive. I've Only never interviewed one. Waste up like Elvis. Now, guys, what do you think about other bands doing the same sorts of things as you? Well, no other band could ever do the same sort of things as we, because, of course, we are immortal warriors who have been alive for at least 30 billion years. I mean, do I look like any human being you've ever seen in your entire life before? Beefcake, set, set him straight, He looks please. a little bit like my manager, actually. Well, you see, we influence all rock and roll music from the dawn of time. Of course, there is no mortal whose paltry attempts to imitate Guar can, uh, can uh, carry on or be successful. We are the true, artful geniuses of your time. And if you would just drop down your little uh, uh, knickers, so to speak, and uh, right. accept us, then you would... Sounds like a it. music cue to me. <laughs> I find bucket. your banal comments unappealing. Thank you so much. Over to you, Ben. Well, uh, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Well, I don't know who will win the Super Bowl, but I have one thing to say. You know, one of these humans who has been tossing around these accusations about our Satanism is this uh, Reverend David Carr. And, you know, I am a big fan of Tom Jones. Yeah. And I believe that who the isn't? last time... Tom Jones. Tom Jones yeah. is wonderful, right? He's the king. The last time I went to see the king, I saw someone... I'm not going to say it was him, you know but was he looked him. an awful lot like Mr. David Carr, and he was collecting the knickers, dressed as a woman, off the stage that these old Bettys were tossing up at Tom, totally true. sniffing them, and then burning them in a ritualistic praise to Satan. I don't know what this world is coming shame, to. Shame, shame, shame. I'm getting too upset, Beefcake. Why don't you take okay, off Okay, Beefcake, uh, Beefcake, well, would you know, like to sort of... Uh, as I said earlier, okay... We have met the National Guard before, and we are we're not... Looking, we're looking for a soft, fluffy ending to the show. Okay, well, Say we Say something not... about kittens. We are not afraid to oh. destroy your boobies, or whatever you call your policemen. We... Bobbies. It, it, bobbies. Bobbies, oh, I see, I see. The men with the funny hats, they wear gelatin more. It's, it's, it's no problem to squash those little polyurethane things they wear on their heads. Well, Gore will continue on, despite the English government and their stuffy little uh, nose-blowing sessions okay. they have. Well, that's basically it. We are at Gore. World War One and World War Three. Thank you very much for coming on, Gwar. We and, love uh, you. We, Thank you I very love you much. Too. And now let me give you gifts. Oh, Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, molestation is so funny. Guy, he, he wouldn't shut up, man. He just kept going on and on and on with his ridiculous accent. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Poor Odorous couldn't get a word in it. <sighs> yeah. Oh. So what did you think of that? That was awesome, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It's nice to see, you know. Uh, it's weird because uh, the, the when it first comes on, the guy who was hosting the show, I thought that was that big fat weirdo Mike. That's who I thought it was. Like, was the, the stupid little host. Oh. But it wasn't. It wasn't. No. Oh. Uh, and, it uh, was it? It might have been. I oh. think that, that was Mike Bishop. But uh, I, I, was that a woman? A man or a woman? I, I think it was a woman. It was a woman. Whatever that lady was, Mr. Sajak, Mr. Lincoln, he had a lot of things. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Embryo C. Deplorable Ask was a short history of the end of the world inspired by Iron Maiden. <laughs> what the fuck do you think? <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. That was a song that I wrote when I was still in a, uh, 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 you know, my very first uh, uh, space alien band. Um, and, uh, and, you know, I mean, sure, like it was, uh, yeah, it was supposed to be, a fucking Iron Maiden song, you know. 
and it mixed with like Faith No More or something oh. stupid. Whatever was popular then. Mm. You know, we've been listening to Scum Dogs, by the way, the remix. There was a lot of slapping on it, a lot of bass. Yeah, slapping. there was. I don't know. I, I guess. You were slapping. You were slapping, I, you were slapping a lot. I don't know what the fuck. I guess things were different, you know. It was the age of faith no more or something like that. Lots of slap. Yeah. Death Clock versus Guar. Or a Pisa. Who's got the most money? That's the only competition that I'd like to see there. Yeah. I'm afraid that we would fucking lose. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ring-a-ting-ting -ting says, you guys were my first concert at Riot Fest. That is so sweet. Cool. Yeah, that is so sweet. That really is. Was that a question? <laughs> my first, my first concert was I, I got finger fucked under the uh, under the, the bleachers at a Ted Nugent concert. Whoa! Yeah, that was wow, fun. magical. I was a fourteen year old. <laughs> it was sounds sounds magical. Yeah, it was magical. Does War have any control over the comic book writing? That's <laughs> Jane Janey. No, we don't. Absolutely have not. Yeah, but no. We don't have anything to do with it. We just collect the checks. <laughs> That's it. Just pay us. That's all we care about. <laughs> Blothar, I'm eating hot dog. This is Maggot Emma says this. I'm eating hot dog. Why do you say hot dog? Like, hot, like, it's plural, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, like, that's like more than one hot dog. I'm eating. Hot dog. I mean, you, even if it was more than one, wouldn't you say a couple hot dogs? I'm, yeah. Like, you don't just say hot dog like it's this amorphous thing like that. That's not how you talk, Maggot Emma. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, it's raining hot dogs. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Mr. Bungle, Methylene Blue. Mr. Bungle should tour with Gore. You know what? I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. I'd love to see it. It'd be a fucking great tour. Oh. Guar Barge, hey, when is Guar talking on, taking on Nessie? Uh, is, is, that, is he talking about the Loch Ness Monster? I think so. Is that right? Because that's Nessie. The, the, who is this? This Why is there so many mentions of the Grateful Dead that's going who, on why, why do you want the Grateful Dead? Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Tell, me, tell us why and then we'll start answering oh, the question. Oh, that's Barris Barulias. Was, uh, he says something I can tell you. Come on, man. You know it was fun to go to a Grateful Dead show. Even I would like to a Grateful Dead show. All you do is walk around and like take drugs. Hairy, yeah, get hairy armpits and take drugs. I mean, smell. Sad. Sean, Bruce Lee, hands down. Bruce yeah. Lee. Sean O'Connell, O'Connery asks Bruce Lee or Chuck Norris, and he's gonna go with Bruce Lee. I'm gonna agree with that. Yes. I'm gonna agree with that. Yeah. Yep. Although Chuck Norris, you know, he's badass. But I mean, come on, who's badass? Bruce Lee. Yeah, Bruce Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, high voltage rock, 1980. Both our knows is shit. I do know my shit. I study it every day. I go through it very carefully with a fine tooth comb, mm -hmm. looking for anything else I might be able to eat again. Yes. Yeah. We need guar. That's what. Do you mean like guar pop, like something that you suck? I think like a fun co pop. Oh, like a fun co pop. Yeah, of course we need yeah. guar pop. Are we gonna get back on this again? You want me to start breaking things? No. You want that? Yeah. Don't get me started. Yeah. Don't get him started. Oh. Pops. Evil one. Arnold or Stallone. What did we Don't already answered this. this? God damn it, it's Arnold. <laughs> and then he says, God damn it, it's Stallone. Oh yeah, fine, Stallone. <laughs> oh, Gabriel Babcock says, I've always wanted to see a Gigi Allen show. Well, you did him, did him up and make, make I guess he make, make my dream come true. We didn't play with Gigi Allen when he was fucking alive. We're certainly not going to dig him up and play him with, with him when he's fucking dead. Because I'd imagine he smells even worse now than he did in life. Oh, yeah. Ken, Ken hit it with a deep cut. Bruce Lee was good, but Bruce Leroy was the real deal. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. right. The last motherfucking dragon. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good uh, one. Alien dingus mushrooms or acid? You know, I've had a lot of fun on acid. I've had a lot of fun on mushrooms, but I'm going to go ahead and say acid. Acid. You know, mushrooms are a little too, you know, too <laughs> light and airy. They don't make you feel like you're ready to die. I'm Feeling. Squeegee that third eye. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah that's why oh I, yeah. Yeah, that's why I like to get. Oh jeez, I like Hennessy. 
What are these, like, nine-year-olds that are on here? Some. Some. Oh, yeah. Some. Uh, Ken Bennett mushrooms for sure. Uh, Alex, Alex Kirk, uh, yes. Uh, Embalmer. In tumor. Embalmer? I, I think it's Embalmer. Is yes. Alex. What, what was this? He's a little, he's a cool little, little bohab. Oh, a little bohab. He's a cool little bohab. Cool little bohab. Yes. Let's burn down Starbucks. You have the same problem that Maggot Emma has. You don't know how to say articles like that. Let's burn down Starbucks. There's more, there's lots of Starbucks. In fact, there's like eight right outside the sleigh pit. They're unless like all over the place. Yes, unless you're you actually. You just burn one. Right, unless you're actually talking about Battlestar Galactica. Oh, yeah, right. Then it's one Starbucks. And then who wants to burn down Starbucks? No, don't do that. No. Oh, uh, Stone Savage says the Shogun of Harlem. I'll yeah. That means. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. Yeah. So sure enough. Yeah. Who's the meanest? Who's the prettiest? Who's yeah. the baddest ass motherfucker in the lowdown in this town? What kind of person spends their time typing this kind of shit in <laughs> Most of the, this guy. Yes. And that guy. And that guy. And dark, that girl. Dark bastard at favorite bass guitar. Well, you know, the Steinberger XM3, which for 30 years I thought was the XM2. But yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, I like I like the Steinberger XM3. Any, my favorite bass guitar is the one I am fucking playing. <laughs> More ex-cops albums. Let's hope not. I mean, let's not hope. Oh, uh, let's not hope. Okay. Megan like, Emma says, why are you so mean what? to me? Don't cry, Maggie Emma. Gosh, people are so sensitive. <laughs> Not being mean. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> but Bethany Blue is your slave for sale or rent? <laughs> yes, he's my rent boy. Come on. Uh, what? Yeah, come on. How much? Come on. How, much? Come on. how come much do on. I get? How much do you get? Yeah. He gets nothing, let me tell you. <laughs> Pimps up, hoes down. I take care of mama. I take care of all the stuff he needs taken care of. He gets nothing. Nothing. All right. Nothing. That's right. So, uh, XM3. XM3. <laughs> Who will win, Bruce Lee or Bruce Lee Roy? Uh, Richard tough. Richard Fulminito. That's uh, tough. I don't, that's a tough one. Uh, let me think about it. I'll come back to it. I need to do some math. Dark Bastard, I always wondered if that was there so there was less parts to get blood and jizz in during a show. Now, I don't know. I guess I have to extrapolate from what this ding-dong is saying that he's talking about my bass guitar. Um, and the answer to that is, yes, that's right. And then there's a lot of questions right here about the headstocks. There's a lot about everything, but I don't give a shit about that because I'd rather talk about me and my fucking headstock, okay? So, yes, of course, being in Guam, if I very quickly found out that if I had a headstock, then it would get caught in chains and it would get pulled all the way out of my hands across the stage, <laughs> and that happened too many times to my 1969 Fender Jazz that I had, uh. so how am I going to fucking do that? So, finally, I said, yeah, fuck it, man, you know what? Screw it. I walked into a, a guitar center in Los Angeles, and I saw an XM3 that had no headstock. Uh, it had obviously been sitting there. I think I bought it in 1989. It had been sitting on the shelf for like four years. <laughs> and, you know, because they look ridiculous. The only people that played them were people that were in reggae bands or like, you know, funk bands. You know, they look like somebody's stupid imagination of the future. But anyway, oh, it's so boring. Let me talk to you people about, I don't know, bridges and taxes. What else do you what else you want to talk about? Michael Dirks. Michael Dirks, what does he say? Can we get Schwab to host Undead Live? Who's Schwab? You you saw Schwab from the show. Oh Schwab from the show. He's oh a, yeah. He's Oh wow. Yeah, the Q tip guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he Swabby. Shoved the Q tip up in his brain and now he's stupid. Yeah, he had a he had a COVID test that went oh, is he? Yeah. Matt Billard, did you teach Dave Bass or did he teach you? What makes you think that we had anything to do with each other? Like, we had nothing to do with each other. No, I don't know. I mean, I, certainly I didn't teach him and he didn't teach me. But uh, let me tell you something. I don't know what he learned from me, but I learned a lot. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, I learned what not to do with the guitar. I learned how not to destroy it. But I also learned how to make some fucking cool sounds. He was a good bass player. 
Ah, Matthew Bullock. Plus, he blathers on about that shit. Yeah, tell me about it. No shit. <laughs> I'm just like, will you, will you shut the fuck? What are you talking about? Who cares about these capacitors? I don't know. But don't you know, he's a lot of fun because he talks about other stuff too, right? Ah, uh, all right. Uh, uh, very angry citizen. Hey, when I die, can you write the soundtrack of my life? I think that's what we're already doing. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Megan, I, I, Megan, I like, I like you. Look, I have to say something nice to her. Okay, she's, yes, yes. She's getting upset. Uh, yes. I, I, I appreciate your dedication to Swa. Yes. Wonderful work. Very, very wonderful work. Okay. Johnny Party Mix, another. Hell yeah! Please call me to Lynchburg. I'm down in Roanoke. What do you think is going on in Lynchburg? <laughs> Nothing is happening in fucking Lynchburg. 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 Nobody, we're not in Lynchburg, okay? <laughs> what, goes, what goes on in Lynchburg? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, with a name like that. No, what's, what's going on in Lynchburg yeah, tonight? Right. <laughs> what could, what where, could possibly be happening? Where could they possibly have gotten? Plus, he, Matthew Bullock, plus, you said this whole time the fucking tech shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, any updates on the signed box sets? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you people this. So we've got the box sets. What, what are you looking at there? No, I was going to say, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah listen, so, listen. Uh, um, so, yeah, we've got the box sets. We, we send them away. You know, we, they're being made. But then the place that's making them is apparently, I mean, they've had all kinds of issues with, there was a fire. And then there was, I mean, I don't know. It's like the dog ate my homework. Really? Sun was in my eyes. Yes, I'm ready to fucking throttle these people. We all <laughs> are. And now it turns out that they, they they said that they were working on the box sets, but really they were just playing tetherball in, on the beach in Mexico or something like that. So <laughs> we have no idea what the fuck is going on with the side boxes. We're working on it. We're trying to get these people, and they you will get them, even if I have to go out there and make it myself. Right. Will, you will get it. But most likely, I will be making it for him. Yes. Most likely. Yes, and it's probably going to take a really long fucking time. <laughs> you know? Because I don't know what I'm doing at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, your turns have more. This is Eddie M. Well, there's a couple of good ones right here. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, so, Center 13 Halloween Fiend. Where can I get more beer? Well, you probably can't get it now, but there's something that's probably going to be coming out in the future. Uh-huh. Yeah, your turds have more power than, than human turds. Yes, of course. Uh, or more power than mere human feces. Tosco just says F. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think that's a grade. Yeah. <laughs> I think, failed. Yeah, if you think that's the first time I've seen that, you're out of your mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can the Duke hope the next un- host the next undead? You mean the dog? Yes. Yeah. Can sure. the Duke do it? I think so. No, man, I think the Duke is capable of much. He can do a lot of things. Yeah. Sounds like... <laughs> Just... <laughs> do it. Yeah. We're, we're, we're... These aren't even questions anymore. No, no. Yes, we're going to be making more comics. Yes, we're going to be making... Uh, 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 Beefcake... I'll be playing bass more in the future, so of course. Uh, but who would win in a fight? Posty or Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec? This is Ron oh. with Coffee. Uh, Michael Dirk says, Gore Bar has Gore Beer. Gore Bar has Gore Beer, of course. Go get the beer at the Gore Bar. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying that you can't get it anymore. But you can go to the bar and and get get it. it. Yeah, you can. So thankfully, little Mike Dirks was watching this this show. Little Mike Dirks. Whoa! Oh, no, it's Dirks. Dirks here. Hey, Dirks. Hey, Dirks. Dirks. Yay. All right. What a good-looking fella. Hi, everybody. I'm the Duke. (laughs) You all suck! I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, no, it was the Duke, everybody! Oh, oh yeah, Duke came in. Little, little cameo by the Duke. Ali you Shaw got to Irwin. see it here first. Yeah. Ali Shaw Irwin, Pepsi or Coke, type 2 diabetes all the way. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever's got the most sugar. Hot dogs, the question mark? Hot dog, question mark. Of course, hot dogs. <laughs> Dickie Duncan as host, that would be really fucking boring. <laughs> yeah, he's terrible. Oh, is the moon... Uh, this is going way too fast. Uh, what are these well, like? you know, it looks like it's probably a good time to wrap this shit up. What do you think? 
Yeah, man. Let's rock it up. Okay. So we're going to end with the awesome video of this guy playing a song called The Viking Death Mushroom!